Hey, okay, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is my good buddy, Victor Hulkuk. If you look back there on those islands, you're gonna see thousands and thousands of coconuts, coconut trees. Their culture lives on coconut. And a couple years ago, I was here and I made coconut crusted onaga. Onaga is a deep water snapper, lives out here in about 1,000 to 1,200 feet of water. Everyone on the island right now is like, oh my gosh, we wanna try that. So, in today's video, we're gonna do our best to catch an onaga. Then we're gonna go in there, we're gonna climb a tree, we're gonna get some fresh coconut, peel it, shred it, crust the fish, and we're gonna make an amazing meal. You are riding shotgun. But the first thing is, we gotta catch fish. That was a really good bite right there. I had a, yeah, I had a really good bite. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Come on. Got it? I got one. Not sure what it is, but definitely got a fish. So how are you guys? See you back there? Those are all coconut trees, coconut palms. Coconuts are a huge part of their culture and a part of their diet. Now I'm gonna show you. Fresh fish, fresh coconut, complete meal. Getting close here, y'all. No idea what I've got, but. Paka paka, yeah. There you go, beautiful fish. Here they are called paka paka. Awesome. Very similar to a porgy. Nice, fat, white fillets. Slice this rascal down. It's always nice when you're out fishing and you get a fish in the boat that you know is good to eat. Makes life great. Come on. I want my bait to sit right on the bottom, very still. Small fish. Hey, we're catching fish, and if you look right behind us, that's Vince Torres heading this way. Hey, this is a, this is our private fishing hole here. Oh, hey, get my net, that one's getting away. Get the net. He ain't getting away. There you go. It's called an ajo. Looks like uh, very similar to a queen snapper. Very good to eat. Austin just went downstairs. I think he was texting his girlfriend. Next thing you know, got him. I literally, there's so much current and I'm only using six pounds of lead. I was just paying line out the whole time like I was mutton fishing back home. And good thing about these hooker reels, I can slow it down or I can speed it up. I can give it more drag, I can give it less drag. It, it makes it a very effective fishing tool. And when you've got a fish coming up, you don't have to bring them up 100 miles an hour. A lot of times you'll, you'll lose them due to that. 
Think it's an Onaga? That's a good size queen snapper, right? You guys, we came out here with a mission. And if you hang out with the Chamorros and the Rafalawash, you realize they're not out here fishing for a Facebook or an Instagram photo. They're fishing for food, which is what we're doing right now. What, oh, what do we have here? Oh, Naga, baby. Talk to me. Hey. He's got a good one. Oh, baby, baby. You told me you'd bring me to the Onaga hole, and I told you I'd cook you dinner. Right. You did your part. Now it's, me, now it's time for me to do my part. Right. We're going to try to catch a couple more fish because there's going to be a lot of people here. That's just probably the most beautiful fish in the world, in my opinion. Big, long flag, sickle tail, beautiful face. Mm, what a fish. Now, while he's catching that fish, I'm gonna make a brine. The water here is very, very, very salty. Oh my goodness! Look at that fish, y'all. I mean, you may not realize this, but that is the fish of a lifetime. Unbelievable. I have a, a meet and greet at four o'clock today. We're gonna make one last drop, see if we can't catch two more fish, or heck, even one more fish. Then we're gonna go in and see everybody. But it's, it's great to know that the mission has been accomplished. I'm getting a grouper bite. I got a grouper <laughs> on. Oh, that's my thousand foot mark. Hold this. Look at that, boys. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Alrighty, look at that, unbelievable, the absolute lunker of an Onaga, unbelievable, me, what a fish. Okay, so now we just got back to the dock, we're going to come up and say hey to all the youngsters and see what's going on. Oh, what's up kids? Hey, so today has been an absolute blast. And all of you guys have been asking about PK Holko. PK is the whole reason I came to Rota, and this is his dad. I call him Mad Max, Mr. Pete Holko. Um, you spend any time on any island, pretty much around the world, if it's a, a tropical, subtropical island, you're gonna see coconuts. And I actually didn't even know this. These young green coconuts are about four months old. And as they start to mature, they'll turn yellow or orange and then brown. And if this lands on the ground like that, it will actually take root and grow. This will turn into that right there. This young green coconut like that is super good to drink. I mean, it, 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 these are so sweet. That would support life. You've got all your drink and the meat inside. Amazing. There you 
go. Yeah. Wow. That's perfect. Wow. That is a lot of coconut. Seriously, see that? There you have it. You could use these as bowls. You could use these as serving spoons. You could use them for a lot of things. But that is how much shredded coconut came out of just one coconut. Now, let's head over to Mr. Victor Hokok's house where we're gonna make coconut crusted onaga with wild organic coconut. Hey, thank you so much, Mr. Pete. You rock, brother. All right, you guys, we just got back to Victor's house and that's one of them big old onagas. See this? Look at it real close. Oh my gosh. Now, that's shredded coconut. Unbelievable. These fish, they look like they're soft, but they're actually, they got huge, rugged scales. So you gotta take your knife, good sharp filet knife, and come up into that head just like that. Take your knife, just follow it right on down that that tail, just like that. That is the best knife you'd ever find in your life for filleting a fish. Now you just, just use your knife and just, when you get past that backbone, now check this out. This is one of my things. I always turn the fish around Hold the flavor like, like that, and you can just cut your way right on down. And now your fish is under control. Look at that, beautiful. When it comes to eating good, hard to get better than Onaga. Look at that. You know you did it right when that skin looks like that. I gotta give a shout out to a very special person now, right now. President Tommy Ramingazow in Palau. We were supposed to be coming to meet you and, and visit Palau. I actually have this knife made for you. It's got your name right here on it. It's a Silver Stag Bona Filet. But I gave away all my other Silver Stags, so I had to borrow yours. Now, I promise I'll make a new one for you. I just wanted to let everyone in Palau know. I wish that COVID wasn't going on. I wish I could come to Palau. President, I wish I could come meet you, but uh, it's gonna have to wait. But for now, we're cooking us some fish. Uh, these pieces of fish that I'm gonna cook, I don't want them to be too terribly big. Like nice, like that, uh, right down the center. That's a perfect size piece of fish right there. Perfect for what we're doing. Oh yeah. These are great. So I'm using like the prime cuts here for this, but I guarantee you nothing's gonna go to waste. He's picking out the bloodline and gonna, it's gonna make something really good out of it. I'm just not sure what yet. What I love about old Mr. Hokok here, he is the Senate president, which means he's the head of the Senate here in the CNMI. Yet he still is out here cooking every single scrap off of that fish. I just love that, man. Now, that's that fish. That's all the prime cuts, boneless, skinless, portioned out, something about like that. Let's season it up. See that? Farm fresh eggs. So you're probably gonna think I'm joking. I just went over through their spices. Sure enough, they got Everglades heat, 
and salt. Can't go wrong there. All we're gonna do is just season this up. Now we're just gonna take and put some flour on here. Now, I'm just gonna take some of this coconut and put over here. I just don't want to contaminate my main stash, which is right there. Once you dredge your fish in flour, let it dry. If it dries, it's gonna do a really good job. And then all you've gotta do, take a piece of fish, roll it in the egg, not both sides, just one side. That's all you gotta do. And that fish is crusted. Let that dry. The flour, the egg, and whatever you're crusting it in, need time to dry. Just take that just like that. See how that looks? Perfect. Just add a little butter to our oil. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure and start with the meat down, just like that. And we only crust one side of our fish because the coconut is gonna brown really fast. There you go, just like that. So Uncle Vic's working on adobo. He took all the scraps of that fish, all the bones, and is making adobo. And I'm just cooking up my coconut crusted onaga. Check this out, y'all wanna see a thing of beauty? Be very careful, flip it over, you should have that golden brown. If you burn it, it's not gonna have the right flavor, but that right there is about perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna continue cooking, but that's the first platter. And I'm telling you, look at it. Look, this is what friends and fishing, this is what the outdoors is all about. All right, y'all, come on. Y'all know who this hot mama is? That's Sarah Arrington right there, y'all, <laughs> AKA Dear Mom. Have you ever had, first off, have you ever had coconut crusted onaga before? Never. No? Well, come on, dig right and in there. And it's fresh coconut, right? You want a piece? Mm. Hey, normally I make a sauce with it. You don't even need a sauce. Don't it's just sauce, so. No way. Normally, he, oh, well, but his orange sauce, mmm. Mm. You guys, this has been a crazy video. We're all over the place. But we're having an amazing time here in the Northern Mariana Islands on the little authentic island called Rhoda. Tomorrow we're having a fishing derby and tonight we're celebrating as friends. Gov, thanks for all your help, brother. Thanks for following this journey. Thanks for being part of our family, our friends, our life. But that's all I got for you tonight. Take care, God bless. And we are... Thank <laughs> you.